Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is channel for all the PS Vita mischief making. Welcome! Today we are looking at the 11 music player. It is in a new app, originally it was released in 2019. However, it just received a major update with some really new features added. Therefore, we are checking out first its installation, then its functions and in the end, my first impressions with using the app. So, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Eleven Music Player is an homebrew music player for the PS Vita, developed originally by Joel 16 and updated to the version 6 by Graphene. Huge thanks to the hard work, keep it up! It aims to support a wide variety of different audio formats compared to the official Sony Music app and it is also first ever homebrew application that uses native PlayStation application framework. That means uh, the interface uh, that looks and feels identical to the native PS Vita apps. The second homebrew app that uses it is of course Better Homebrew Browser, which I'm a big fan of. Now to the installation, download and install the VPK via VitaShell and that's it. Preferably you want to install the low map mode plugin as well for better background playback support. Now to its features. It supports 14 different audio formats including MP3, WAV, M4A, FLAC, OGG, etc. You can browse different partitions on the Vita like UXO, URO, UMAO and you can play the before mentioned audio formats from them. There is of course background playback support, touch support, different equalizer modes, there is also a widget in the quick menu when you minimize the app identical to the official music app one. There are of course all the regular features to play and to pause, to shuffle, seek, repeat and repeat all. It currently supports three languages, English, Russian, French. Now we are coming to the groundbreaking feature that was implemented in the version 6. I certainly didn't expect it, but I'm more than happy that we get it and the feature is, drum roll, YouTube audio streaming. Yes, you heard it correctly, we can now, through this app, go to any video on YouTube and stream its audio into the PS Vita. We can even let it play in the background and what's more, we can even download it, I repeat, download it directly from YouTube into our memory cards for offline audio playback. Ho oh, ho ho, what a sick feature, isn't it? I love it. This is absolutely the revolutionary feature that we definitely need to have on our Vitas. You can simply click on the settings, then YouTube, then download and the audio will most likely be downloaded. I say most likely because now we are getting to the part of the video with my first impressions of using the app. And they are as follows. This is the first major update after a while, so we can expect this homebrew to be bulletproof and to work like a breeze. Along the way, I experienced quite a few of crashes, unexpected errors were popping up, there were also some freezes with the infinite spinning bubble in the middle and the only way out was the hard reset. The download feature works more often than not, even on the same song once it gave me error and another time it downloaded it no problem and I couldn't really find out why it was happening. The normal background playback works fine uh, with some games and with others it doesn't work at all, even with the low map mode plugin. I've been even trying the background playback of YouTube audio streaming, it also works fine but I felt like it was really, really demanding for the Vita. In spite of all the things that I've just said, I believe 11 Music Player version 6 is a great example of the right approach the Vita really needs. Who would have thought we would be able to stream and download an audio from YouTube? Certainly not me, but now it's here and I'm all for it. This homebrew definitely gets a zealous Chuck stamp of approval and two thumbs up. Once again, big up to the Graphene, your endeavors are greatly appreciated. As I've said, it will take some tweaking and quality life improvements to be issued before this homebrew is a top-notch experience. But in the meantime, if you want to try it out, even in this not-so-perfect form, the link is down below and I'm looking forward to any new updates. Keep it up! So what do you think guys, is the 11 music player worth it? Are you gonna try it out or you already done it? Let me know down below.
If you enjoyed this video guys, please like, comment, share, watch some more, subscribe for more quality content, it means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out our Discord server where you can find out about everything up front and follow me on social media. All the links are down below, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one, peace.